Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, Mozilla rolled out Firefox version 110, as I have posted. And one of the new features that is now enabled by default in the browser after upgrading is GPU sandboxing. Now, as I have posted on, Mozilla has confirmed that in version 110 or later, there is a bug that affects the X mouse button control XMBC tool that causes the mouse wheel scrolling to stop working. And this is because of the GPU sandboxing uh, in the browser. And I'll leave a link to that video on how to actually solve that issue uh, in the description if that would be of interest. Now, um, just to do a quick recap in case you're unaware what GPU sandboxing is and what it does. Basically, GPU sandboxing, uh, just to give you a brief summary, is an enhanced security level that basically isolates uh, the GPU process from other processes and makes it a lot more difficult and harder for malware to attack and target um, those processes of your GPU. So basically it isolates um, the GPU, your, gra your graphics processing unit, and if there is any malware, um, it cannot get to those processes of your GPU. So it isolates your graphics processing unit in its own sandbox and isolates it from the rest of your system. So that's just a brief uh, example and summary of what GPU sandboxing is all about. Now, if you um, have experienced any issues regarding mouse scrolling or um, maybe you just want to disable GPU sandboxing in the browser for whatever reason, maybe you've got some other issues with it, then just a quick video on how to disable the feature after upgrading to Firefox version 110 or any other later version of the browser. Now, just a side note before we show you how to do that. It is an enhanced security feature as mentioned. So obviously, if you do disable the feature, um, it could leave your GPU processes open to threat and attack. So just take note of that. Now, to disable GPU sandboxing, we head to the address bar and we type in about colon and that's about colon config, uh, accept the risk and continue. So just take note of that. And in the search preference name uh, in this field, we're going to enter this preference and flag. And I'll leave a link uh, uh, to uh, this uh, flag in the description for you to copy and paste. It reads security.sandbox.gpu.level. Now what we need to do is we need to change its value uh, we need to change its value from 1 to 0. So we need to just click on edit and change its value from 1 to 0 and then just click on the checkbox again and that value has been changed. And what I would suggest is just close Firefox and then just reopen the browser and that will just uh, be a double check on just getting that uh, flag enabled if it hasn't done so. Now, um, if, if we head back to the address bar and this time we enter about colon support. This will take us over to the troubleshooting information page and this is just to show you that the sandboxing now is actually being disabled and we have actually visited this page previously uh, in videos uploaded previously and here we get uh, the sandbox where we get all the different um, sandboxing features in the browser and here we can see GPU process sandbox level and it has been disabled because if it was a, had a value of one or higher, like in the other examples, that means it's uh, enabled. And um, now we have applied the value of zero. So yeah, you can see it's zero. So GPU process sandbox level has actually now been disabled in Firefox version 110 or any later version of the browser that you are using. And if you want to re-enable GPU sandboxing, you just head back to about config enter the same flag, which as mentioned, I'll leave a description to that in the, uh, down below in the description box. And what you need to do uh, to re-enable GPU sandboxing is ch just change its value from zero back to the original one, and that will re-enable the feature in the browser. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.